Hi, in today's video I'm going to be covering a bug in MPV on Linux that causes the video to stutter and go out of sync. Now this bug is actually caused by Opus audio streams at 48 kilohertz and these are typically found in WebM files or on YouTube videos. So if you're trying to play a YouTube video with MPV and you notice errors like audio device underrun detected, audio video out of sync, lots of red errors in the terminal. And th what happens is basically the video will sort of speed up or slow down and sort of the audio will go out of sync so it looks like a badly dubbed movie. So what I'm going to do is actually show you the solution to this and that is actually to replace pulse audio with pipe wire. So I'm running Ubuntu 22.04 and there are a couple of extra things that you need to do to actually um, get pipe wire working. And once you've got pipe wire working, it actually fixes this particular bug with MPV. So this bug only occurs with on Linux with Opus audio streams at 48 kilohertz and pulse audio is the back end so replacing pulse audio with pipe wire will actually fix the issue so this is um, the article that I followed on the Ubuntu handbook on how to do this so what I've actually done is just copied the article um, and uh, let me see if I can go back to here we go yeah pipe wire install so I'm going to go through the steps of actually um, replacing sort of pulse audio as a server with pipe wire and then show you a video uh, that's got some a close-up of a mouth so that you can actually see everything's in sync so this is from this article here and basically what we need to do first of all is install these client libraries so let me just increase the size of the page there so what we do is we install pipe wire audio client libraries um, libspar um, to Bluetooth and Jack and what we do then is we install wire plumber and we replace pipe wire media um, session with wire plumber notice this note down here when we say sudo apt install wire plumber pipe wire dash media dash session dash the dash at the end uh, basically means remove this package so we're installing this package and uh, removing this one so just run these two here to install the stuff and then if you're running um, if you're using Ulsa um, you just copy this to copy the configuration so uh, I used I use Ulsa sometimes so I just copied this to be safe and then once you've done that you can do that um, run the same command here for Jack if you use Jack then you run sudo ld config um, if you're using Bluetooth, you remove the Pulse Audio module Bluetooth. And finally, what you do is you run this command here systemctl dash dash user now enable wire plumber service. After you've gone through those steps, what you do is you reboot and you run pactl info. So if I switch across to the terminal here, pactl info, what you'll see. Here, server name Pulse Audio on Pipewire 0 0.48. So that's how you verify everything's working. And there's some um, notes down here on actually um, remove it, um, restoring Pulse Audio if you want to. So it's really quick to do. Basically, just install this, install these ones here. Uh, you don't have to do also if you don't want to then remove um, Bluetooth module and enable wire plumber reboot and I said once you've done that run PACTL info as I showed you here PACTL info and you'll see pulse audio on pipe wire so what I'm going to do now is actually show you a video that uh, is on YouTube that is using um, Opus Audio at 48 um, kilohertz, which with 
Pulse Audio as the back end would cause the video to go out of sync and give you lots of errors. So what I'm going to do is uh, open this video here from Ruben Steen's channel about Newcastle United. Um, just give it a second to kick in and I'll just pause it here. So as you can see, here what we've got is Opus 2 channel 4800 kilohertz and this is what actually uh, triggers the bug with um, the Pulse Audio back end. So that only happens on Linux, it only happens um, with uh, WebM videos which are the VP9 um, codec and uh, 2 channel Opus Audio at 4800 kilohertz and it's some kind of issue where Pulse Audio is sort of resampling the audio. Uh, Pulse Audio is resampling the audio, and what happens is it causes uh, an underrun on the audio device, and this then makes the audio and video actually go out of sync in MPV. And what will happen is it will basically um, sort of speed up the video. The audio will then suddenly catch up. It will go back in sync, and it will then go out of sync again so what i'll do is i'll just play this so you can actually see um that the audio is in sync with the lip movements as it were let me just stick that up there united have been doing their media shots ahead of the new season jamal lascelles has given an interview where he spoke very highly of eddie howe callum wilson has said he would like more competition in the striker position so you get the idea there, so I'll quit that. Um, but I just wanted to use that as a clip to demo um, the issue because it uh, basically shows you that the audio is in sync with the lip movements. And this was something that was really bugging me um, after I upgraded to 2204 um, and did some upgrades. I suddenly found when I was watching YouTube videos or WebM videos with MPV that the audio and video were going out of sync and I couldn't figure out what what the problem was. Um, you know, I looked around and couldn't figure it out why it was working on some videos and then sort of searching on the MPV um, GitHub issues page, I came across some of these um, sort of people mentioning uh, hanging in some videos using the Opus codec and basically what triggers it sort of and the error that I was actually having audio device under run detected and basically after reading a few of these issues someone mentioned that actually installing uh, it was Pulse Audio that was the problem and if you installed Pipewire it actually fixed the problem completely so all we need to do is follow the um, how-to guide on the Ubuntu handbook, um, and it's a bit of a bit of a sort of narrow page, so that's why I've copied the article, uh, so it's much easier. So you can just come across here, and you can actually um, just copy. You can just copy these lines here, just paste them in the terminal, reboot, and it will completely fix the issue. So. If you've been bugged by MPV stuttering, going out of sync, firstly, it's something that affects WebM files and um, YouTube video links, which use uh, the VP9 video codec and Opus audio codec. And it's only triggered on two channel 4800 kilohertz um, audio in um, WebM files, either locally or um, in a stream, you know, from a YouTube video. And I said, it's Pulse Audio that's the problem. Once you install Pipewire, reboot, and then PACTL, info, Pulse Audio on Pipewire 0 0.3.8, um, the problem will go away. Now, the other thing I wanted to mention is, um, are there any, um, issues uh, from switching from Pulse Audio to Pipewire and um, everything um, that uses it's basically going through sort of Pulse Audio 
still, but it's using Pipewire as a server or something. Uh, so everything that you've got set up for Pulse Audio will continue to work. So I've got things for like a virtual microphone on Pulse Audio or scripts that um, query, you know, Pulse Audio syncs, that sort of thing, um, or um, record desktop audio using Pulse Audio. And um, all that still works. Um, my mic in OBS is still working. Um, unfortunately, I deleted the mic and then lost all the settings. So I had to try and figure out what the settings were like. So I hope the audio is okay in this video. Um, but basically, I haven't had any issues switching to Pipewire at all. All the Pulse Audio stuff still works. And it's fixed um, this really irritating um, issue that crops up on MPV on Linux. And as I said, it's only if you're viewing uh, the Opus codec, uh, you know, it's the Opus codec 4800 kilohertz with Pulse Audio as the back end. That's, that's what triggers the bug. And what happens is you get this, you get, you'll get messages like um, audio device underrun detected, um, AV out of sync, um, the video um, will sort of like speed up and slow down and jitter and the audio will go completely out of sync like someone's talking really quickly and their mouth's not moving so it's really weird it's a really annoying bug um and i say the issue is that practically um all new videos on youtube will be using the vp9 uh codec and um, opus audio at 4800 kilohertz so basically uh, if you're playing any video with mpv from youtube uh it can uh, you can get this bug and um, as say it's because of pulse audio is the back end uh, and swapping out pulse audio uh, with pipe wire fixes the problem completely so what i'll do is i'll put some links um to this under the video but as I said it's simple to do go through install these copy the config file enable wire plumber reboot pcaltl info you know, this takes five minutes to do and um, it will completely fix the problem with um, MPV and WebM YouTube links, sort of introducing this stutter and jitter and going out of sync. And um, there's, there's no issues that I've come across with any of the applications that I've used. Um, browser audio works fine, you know, Firefox, uh, Chromium works fine, MPV, the audio works. Um, uh, NCMPT, uh, which is like a client for MPD. Um, so I haven't noticed any um, program that uses audio um, have any issues. Uh, as I say, um, if I open the volume control here, um, input devices, let's see, all input devices. Yes, you can see I've got my monitor of um, my monitor device, which is like a um, virtual mic. So I showed you in a previous video how you can create a virtual mic with Pulse Audio. And that still seems to, I haven't actually tested it, but it still shows up, everything still shows up. So there's no issues that I've come across switching to Pipeware. And if you do, you can always uh, restore Pulse Audio by going through this section down here. And again, this is from um, the Ubuntu handbook so it's a good source um, I applied this on several computers I've um, set this up on uh, two computers running Ubuntu 2204 and um, without any issues so if you've been having this problem with MPV and YouTube videos um, stuttering going out of sync um, and the same issue with local WebM files then <coughs> uh, this is basically how you fix it and it's going to take you I say five minutes to do if you're on another distribution um, other than Ubuntu um, and you're having this issue um, have a look at the um, you know website for that you know if it's uh, Arch Linux or Fedora or whatever um, it will be you know different things you need to install but I'm not sure if it's just something that happens on Ubuntu but if it happens on other Linux distributions as well but um, if you're running Pulse Audio on another Linux distribution like Debian or something and you've come across this problem, 
um, have a look at the Debian handbook for installing pipe wire and hopefully it will fix the issue and the issue for you so that's all for now and I'll put a link to the video um, under the video for all these um, all these uh, pages here for the Ubuntu handbook um, my version here on um, my github repository just so it's easier to actually read and copy the stuff across um, and again you can come to mpv um, on github and search the issues um, for stuff like the opus codec uh, and it will give you more information um, about what the issue was and finally this was the channel i was um, demoing um, the audio from rubenstein um, channel about newcastle united and it was just this video here just so that i could show you the the lip movements were in sync with the audio because it's something i'd really noticed particularly on these videos of someone's you know close up of someone's mouth was like that's not right why is it suddenly going out of sync because i've got 16 gig of ram and why am i getting um error messages saying audio device um, buffer underrun all these kind of things because that's usually something that's usually an error you get if you're running out of memory so i knew there was something odd and um i just thought it was ubuntu 2204 um, and it wasn't until i had a look on github that i actually came across the issue um and what the fix was so hopefully um this will help you if you've been having this problem and pipe wire is absolutely fine um there's no issues i've come across with it so it's safe to install um, and set up and replace pulse audio so that's all for now and i'll put links to all this under the video